You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. India celebrates a number of festivals throughout the year. While some festivals are celebrated with equal pomp and show across the country, others are limited to a particular region only. One such festival is Marbat, which calls triumph of goodness over evil and is celebrated only in India's western Nagpur city of Maharashtra. Thousands of people recently took to the roads of the Nagpur city to celebrate the 141-year-old Kali Marbat festival where devotees take out a procession of effigies meant to represent evil forces and eventually burn it. The main intention behind celebrating this festival is to safeguard the city from the attack of vicious evil spirits. It takes place a day after the Bullock festival of Pola that started in 1880 in the eastern part of the city. Dressed in traditional dresses, thousands of devotees took part in the procession carrying marbats or clay effigies of Kali and Pivli. While the Kali marbat represents Bhosla queen Bankabai, who surrendered to British power, the Pivli marbat, which originally symbolized atrocities of the British rulers, today stands for social evils like corruption and epidemics. पिछले दो साल की जो कालावधि जो गुजरी हुई है उस कारण क्या हो गया कोरोना के कारण लोगों को इस उत्साह का आनंद नहीं लेना पाया इस साल जो हमारी जो नई गवर्नमेंट जो आई हुई है उन्होंने से सब खुला जो कर दिया हुआ है इसलिए इस उत्साह को सभी लोग आनंद यानी एंजॉय करने वाले हैं और उसके कारण जो मिरोनोक जो निकलने वाले हैं वो मिरोनोक भी निकलने वाले हैं दो द फेस्टिवल इज प्रोडोमिनेंटली ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द तेली एंड कोस्टी कम्युनिटीज अदर्स आल्सो पार्टिसिपेट इन इट विद जेस्ट एंड ऑर्डर A number of badgyas representing contemporary symbols of evil comprises another feature of the annual processions. The Marbat festival is being celebrated for more than a century now and with time the significance of the festival has also changed completely. Before India gained independence, the festival was primarily a way to arouse feeling of patriotism among people. But today people celebrate this festival to draw the government's attention towards various social issues such as terrorism natural calamity diseases etc angrezon ke zamane mein to angrezi hi ek buri pratha thi to to uske karan baad mein aisa hua ki kuch anishta pratha jo desh mein hai ya samaj mein hai usko bhi iske sath joda gaya aur baad mein fir rajkiya jo kuch bure bartav log karte hain unko bhi is pratik ke madhyam se badge ke roop mein chalaya gaya जैसे श्रीमंत महारानी जो बाकाबाई भोसले थी हम पीछे देख रहे हैं हमारे शुक्रवार दरवाजा है जो भोसले महाराज का बाड़ा है तो भोसले राजा की जो रानी थी द्वितीय महाराज रघुजी भोसले बाकाबाई वो अंग्रेजों को शरण गई थी और अंग्रेजों के खिलाफ उसने हाथ मिला के अपने राज्य को खालसा किया था ऐसा कहते हैं लेकिन कुछ इतिहास संशोधक मानते हैं कि बाकाबाई जाने के बाद मार्बत उत्सव शुरू हुआ है और संयोगवश बोलिए आज ही के दिन बाकाबाई का निधन हो गया था और वो बाकाबाई का जो ये है प्रोसेशन है वो निकला था The marbat therefore gives vent to people's frustrations and acts as a means of protest albeit with an element of light-hearted fun. Sufism is being practiced for the last 1000 years in India. The core belief of Sufism is that God is one and all individuals are a part of him. The dargahs of Sufi saints have long been acting as a synodure of religious unity in the country. One such darga is that of Kalyar Sharif Sakir in the holy city of Haridwar which has been presenting a picture of communal harmony for years. Take a look. Haridwar is amongst the holiest cities in India. Located on the shores of the river Ganges, the city is visited by lakhs of Hindu devotees for pilgrimage every year. However, 
The city also portrays a beautiful example of religious harmony and brotherhood as the shrine of Khalil Sharif Sakir Sahib, situated in the city, is a place visited by people of different religious communities. और यहां सभी लोग आते हैं हर धर्म का इंसान आता है यहां और सबकी मन्नत पूरी होती है हर धर्म के लोग इसलिए आते हैं कि सबको मन्नत पूरी होती है यहां को तो एक एक धर्म जो है ये जो है आप एक तरह प्रतीक है क्या Hundreds of devotees from not just the city but from all around the country visit the dargah to offer prayers to the Sufi saint People wait in long queues to get a glimpse of Mausoleum and to offer chaddars and flowers to the saint Musicians also perform qawalis which are hymns and song sung in praise of the saint Beat Hindus Muslims Sikhs or Christians people regardless of their caste and creed bow their heads at the shrine as one thus showcasing the bond of unity and brotherhood between them Sarda hamari sabke bhagwan to sabka ek hi hota hai naam alag alag hote hain to isme aisa kuch nahi hai ki muslim aate hain jo bhi jis ko manta hai wo sab dharmo ke log barabar hai yahan par sandesh ye hai ki sab log yahan par jo bhi baba ke dar pe aata hai uski murade puri hoti hai aur yahan par aisa kuch nahi hai ki muslim aate sare hindu log bhi jo mante hain baba ko sare yahan par aate hain यहाँ सभी मजहब के आदमी आते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सभी तरह के आदमी आते हैं और अपनी मुरादों को सभी झोलिया भर कर ले जाते हैं यहाँ से वो जाता है कि आपस में इतफाक व इतिहाद प्यार मोहब्बत यहाँ कोई जाति या धर्म का कोई मामला नहीं है वली अल्लाह एक दरिया के मानी धोते हैं कि सब उससे फैज़ उठाते हैं यहाँ मजहब और जात पात नहीं देखी जाती सब प्यार मोहब्बत से रहते हैं और सभी एक दूसरे से प्यार मोहब्बत करते हैं सिंस एजेस दी सूफी सेंट्स लाइक कलियर शरीफ हैव प्रोपगेटेड द मैसेज ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिज्म इन हार्मनी इन आवर कंट्री एंड देयर टीचिंग्स आर स्टिल प्लेइंग अ सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन स्ट्रेंथनिंग द थ्रेड ऑफ सेकुलरिज्म नाउ अ राउंड अप ऑफ सम ऑफ द मेजर स्टोरीज दैट मेड न्यूज़ रिसेंटली A motorcyclist weaves through the chaotic streets of India's capital New Delhi wearing a special helmet fitted with filters and a fan at the back. Shilio's Techno Labs, the developers of the helmet, said it is the first of its kind in the world and added lab tests by an independent laboratory show it can keep more than 80% of pollutants out of users' nostrils. Ye actually mein anti air pollution hai aur isme jab aap पोल्यूशन में जाते हैं तो इसमें बिल्कुल भी पता नहीं चलता कि आप पोल्यूशन के अंदर हैं और बिल्कुल आपको ब्रीथ ऐसे लगता है आप जैसे एज होम आप फील कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल ही और बिल्कुल कंफर्टेबल है और पोल्यूशन का बिल्कुल पता नहीं चलता इसमें कि पोल्यूशन भी बाहर आउटडोर में आपका बहुत पोल्यूशन हुआ इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन पाठक बिगैन सेल्स ऑफ द हेलमेट विच वॉज फिटेड विद अ रिप्लेसेबल फिल्टर मेम्ब्रेन एंड अ फैन पावर्ड बाई अ रिचार्जेबल बैटरी दैट कैन रन फॉर सिक्स आवर्स India's Science and Technology Ministry hailed the helmet as offering a breath of fresh air for bikers. The new version is expected to hit the streets within a few months, possibly in time for winter in India and an accompanying season of agrid smog. The Global Order of Nuns founded by St. Teresa, Missionaries of Charity, observed the 112th birth anniversary of the Nobel Peace Laureate as nuns and followers offered prayers in eastern kolkata city saint teresa was one of the most influential women in the church's 2000 year history acclaimed for her work amongst the poorest of the poor nuns and followers of saint teresa gathered around her tomb early in the morning as they took part in a mass prayer service and sang songs this is a celebration of life of a great person and every birthday the celebration of all of us the gift of life is something comes from god something sacred and holy and this life is given to us so we can make a gift to others to live for others born to albanian parents in 1910 in what was then part of the ottoman empire and now in macedonia became an international figure The Albanian born nun received several national and international awards for social service during her lifetime 
They include the Magsaysay Award in 1962, the Pope John XXIII Peace Prize in 1971, the John F. Kennedy International Award in 1971, and the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. Her love for children, orphans, and lepers propelled her to an iconic status both within India and in the world outside, with people flocking to touch her, see her, and be blessed by her. Saint Teresa died on September 5, 1997, at the age of 87. The commissioning of indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant will give India the ability to join few nations that have been able to design and construct such carriers, Indian Southern Naval Command Chief Vice Admiral M A Hampi Holi said as the ship geared up for commission. INS Vikrant was commissioned on September 2nd. It is the largest ever ship built in India. It weighs 45,000 tons, is 262 meters long and carries 1,500 personnel. The impending commissioning of the indigenous aircraft carrier Vikrant is indeed historic for it gives us the ability as a country to join a few select nations who are able to design and construct aircraft carriers. Hampi Holi said that the amount of steel used in the ship was enough to make four Eiffel towers and the cabling ran almost about 2500 kilometers the warship is expected to carry at least 30 aircrafts on it including the MiG 29K that currently operates on Russia made INS Vikramaditya INS Vikrant reportedly has a strike range of 13900 kilometers and is also equipped with 32 Indo Israeli surface to air missiles Barak 8 along with four OTO Melara 76 mm naval guns and 4 AK47 360 point defense system guns. India has left the entire world spellbound with its ability to be home to a number of different religious communities and ethnicities. It is quite common to see people of different religions actively participating in each other's festivals and occasions. With the ongoing Ganesh Chaturthi festivities, a beautiful example of religious unity was seen in Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh where people of different religious communities established the Ganpati Pandal. Have a look. Kanpur is an industrial city in Uttar Pradesh central western region. In addition to being the ninth largest metropolitan economy in India, Kanpur is one of the main financial and industrial towns in northern India. The city is known for its Ganga Jamuni Tehzeeb, which is a term used as euphemism for the fusion of Hindu and Muslim cultures. It is due to this way of life that people of different religious communities are often seen celebrating each other's festivals with great zeal and fervor. ये है कि गणपति बाबा आज से शुरुआत हुई है त्यौहार की तो हम लोग सभी हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख सभी भाई लोग जो है इसको सजा रहे हैं और क्या नाम है त्यौहार मना रहे हैं और हम भी यही चाहते हैं कि हर देश में हर प्रदेश में सभी इसी तरीके से मनाएं भाईचारा मनाएं और रखे रहें भाईचारा से करें जैसे कि पहले से लोग पुराने लोग जुड़े थे भाईचारे से कि त्यौहार में अच्छे बुरे में इसी तरीके से आज के दौर में भी सब अच्छा ही जुड़े रहें और मोहब्बत प्रेम करते रहें रामनारायण बाजार एरिया ऑफ कानपुर हैज़ अ मिक्सड पॉपुलेशन ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट रिलीजन्स हु हैव बिन रिसाइडिंग हेयर फॉर ईयर्स and have been celebrating all occasions together harmoniously for the last 34 years members of the ganesh mandir committee have been establishing ganpati bappa in the market area in this ganpati pandal people of all religions mostly hindus and muslims participate in the service of the elephant lord the members of the committee believe that all the religions are equal and there should be no discrimination on the basis of culture ये कानपुर शहर रामनारायण बाजार में सबसे बहुत पुराना मंदिर है जिसे हम प्राचीन मंदिर कहेंगे गणेश मंदिर हर साल के भांति यहाँ पे गणेश चतुर्थी बनाया जाता है और मूर्ति की स्थापित होती है 35 सालों से चौंतीस पैंतीस सालों से ये कार्यक्रम होता जा रहा है और सबसे बड़ी मुख्य बात ये है 
कि इस कार्यक्रम में हर धर्म के लोग क्या सिख क्या ईसाई क्या मुसलमान क्या हिंदू क्या सरदार सब लोग एक साथ मिल के इसको बनाते हैं और एक दूसरे के त्यौहार में हर्षोल्लास के संग एक संदेश भी जाता है कि हम सब एक हैं हम लोग का ये सी सी गणेश महोत्सव सीधा समिति रजिस्टर रानवे हज़ार का हम लोग ने चौंतीसवा वर्ष है हम लोग छोटे से थे तो हम लोग ने छोटे से कार्यक्रम चालू किया था चौदह साल की उम्र थी तब से हम लोगों ने गुल्लक ले कार्यक्रम चालू किया था और सब मोहल्ले वाले पूरे हमारा जो एक क्षेत्र है सब मिलजुल का क्षेत्र है मतलब कि यहाँ हिंदू भाई भी रहते हैं यहाँ पे सिख भाई भी रहते हैं यहाँ हिंदू मुस्लिम भाई भी रहते हैं सभी धर्मों के लोग यहाँ पे रहते हैं और हम लोग हमेशा चौंतीस वर्षों से मिलजुल के एक पर्व को मना रहे हैं गणपति को It is due to occasion like these that are a show of India's unity in diversity and the common spirit of brotherhood shared among all citizens. India has become a hot spot for startups. Currently, the country is witnessing a rapid growth in the number of startups. So far in the year 2022, 13 startups were added to the Unicorn Club. After USA and China, the country is emerging as the world's third largest startup ecosystem. Let's have a look at how the startup culture is booming in India. 2021 was the year of unicorns for India, with 43 startups achieving a valuation of over 1 billion USD. The startup ecosystem in the country has evolved dynamically ever since 2016, with the launch of the Startup India initiative. From a mere 417 startups in 2016, the number has grown rapidly with each passing year, taking the count to 20,160 in 2021. This is Bamboo India, a Pune-based startup by Ashwini Shinde and Yogesh Shinde. Established on August 15, 2016, this venture has changed the bamboo perception from poor man's timber to wise man's timber. Bamboo India produces a number of innovative bamboo products as replacement of plastic products. further contributing to environment conservation even though we are the world's second largest bamboo growing nation and uh, we are only exporting 4% to the global market so i thought uh, why not the things we should take up because uh, this is something uh, directly related to the farmers uh, you can uh, have lots of angles towards it like plastic free india और स्वच्छ भारत मिशन और आत्मनिर्भर भारत और स्किलफुल इंडिया सो ऑल दोज मिशन कैन फुलफिल विद दिस बैम्बू सो दैट्स वाई आई स्टार्टेड दिस वेंचर इन बैम्बू बैम्बू इंडिया इज अमंग थर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन स्टार्टअप ऑपरेटिंग एम महाराष्ट्र विच इज ऑल्सो द स्टेट विद द हाइस्ट नंबर ऑफ स्टार्टअप फॉलो बाई कर्नाटका डेली उठार प्रदेश एंड गुजरात In today's climate, startup culture is attracting many young entrepreneurs. Boards of Indian companies are also increasingly including younger members. As per data from the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, more than a third of people who received a direct identification number or DIN in the last fiscal year were aged 30 years or younger. A DIN is an eight-digit unique identification number, which is allotted to an individual who is the director of a company. Already in the 2022 fiscal year, the Ministry of Corporate Affairs issued 420,000 DINs, of which 123,000 were younger than 30 years, while another 182,000 were between the ages of 31 to 45 years. There has been increased funding opportunities, especially from private equity and venture capital firms, which is incentivizing youth to choose an entrepreneurial path. The Startup Summit 2022 that was recently held in Delhi also saw a huge participation of young entrepreneurs from various industries. The summit provided participants with an opportunity to learn from each other and exchange ideas in addition to offering access to funding and business resources. Among the many startups that registered their presence in the summit, Go Waterless stood out with their unique concept. Established by a 36-year-old entrepreneur, Nidan Sharma, the startup provides doorstep car wash service in Mumbai and Nagpur without using water. Instead, it uses a plant-based high lubricity spray to capture dust particles from the surface of automobiles. Our product is a very unique formulation. Uh, first thing is that it is a plant extract. It is not a chemical-based product. So one we we are saving water to clean the vehicles and the product what we are using is also 
a non hazardous product which will not damage the or penetrate uh, penetrate into the environment or it will not damage the vehicle surface Today, India is the world's third largest ecosystem for startups, which covers 56 diverse sectors across the country. As of July 2022, India was home to 105 unicorns with a total valuation of 338.5 billion USD. Since 2016, the startup industry in the country has registered a 15 times increase in funding and a 9 times increase in the number of investors, making it an amazing success story of Brand India. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. The Tomatina Food Fight Festival returned in the eastern Spanish town of Bonol after a two-year break due to the pandemic with thousands of unbridled revelers hurling 130 tons of overripe tomatoes. Around 15,000 people fought splattering the fruit on each other, leaving a smelly red pool of crushed tomatoes in the Bunol's main street where the action happens. Um, yeah, it was different than I expected. I didn't expect full tomato. <laughs> it hurt. But it was so much fun and totally worth it. The Tomatina 75th edition started at midday after a firecracker was set off giving the signal to six trucks loaded with tomatoes to drive through the main street, distributing the sappy projectiles for an hour, while partygoers threw them and covered each other in red juice. The tomatina is said to have originated from a spontaneous bust-up amongst villagers in 1945. Japanese Railways will mark its 150th anniversary in the month of October this year. Ever since the inception of railways in Japan, the economy of the country has also developed to a great extent. Railways in Japan started with a steam-powered locomotive which ran between Shinbashi in Tokyo and Yokohama. Now railways are being run by electrical-powered engines which are now spread among the length and breadth of Japan. An exhibition of railway models was organized with the theme of 150th anniversary of functioning of Japanese railways. A scaled-down model of an old railway runs through small diorama. え、こちらの方に展示させていただいておりまして、年表も作りまして、その編成をお客様にアピールして、ラジンでいただきたいということでやっております。鉄道模型はキングソーブホビーという形で、家の中に線路を引いて自分一人でも楽しめるモデラー
The exhibition ran from August 25 until September 3. Sushi and sashimi, which are important Japanese dishes, have now become popular all around the world. Japan is surrounded by sea on all sides, which has made seafood and seaweed staple ingredients. Because of the seafood culture being extremely popular in Japan, marketing and manufacturing of processed marine products along with the entire fishery industry has developed in Japan. Crab is amongst the most popular seafood ingredients in Japan which is enjoyed by most of the tourists and locals in Japan. For this preservation and processing of crab meat to keep the crabs fresh becomes necessary. まあ世界からカニを輸入してあの日本であの加工して日本で売るっていう仕事をやってますね。特に年末にかけて売れるあの売上金額って見てるとやっぱカニが一番多いですね。今年はカニの値段が下がってきたんで。The fishery industry of Japan has prospered due to its geographical features, abundant fish produce, and rich cultural diversity. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.